First of all, thanks to all my Patreon supporters for their insane support they are providing. And this video is sponsored by my Patreons. Thank you very much, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna be starting a small series that's gonna have like two, three episodes. Uh, and today we're gonna be creating ATM and specifically we're gonna make even the currency system so we can uh, basically have a cash, uh, take it from the ATM, put it on the ATM and etc. Okay, so first in, in this episode uh, we're just gonna set up the base ATM and the base currency and then in the next episodes we're gonna add some functionalities. So let's start. Uh, as you can see we are in the third person. Uh, view but if we do want to have a interaction system uh, we need to make one of course so let's uh, create a new folder here I know it's all messy but it's just our present template of course for you, uh, you you can make it even nicer so let's call this interfaces and to make a interaction system as you know you will need a interface so we will go and get blueprint interface and call it BPI interact as per usual and we can open it up and here we need to add a function and it's gonna be just interact nothing uh, too uh, hard uh, it's just a simple function that we're gonna call in different scenarios so right now I'm gonna go to my third person character you can go to your character and here we need to set up interaction interaction so I want my interaction to be on E so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the input and here I have input actions I'm gonna create new one I'm gonna call it EA interact just like that and uh, I want it to be on E everything here is fine I can close it up I can go to my IMC default and here I will add new mapping so I can uh, interact with specific key that I want which is in our case E like that so now instead of typing E key and finding it I can just call IA interact and it's gonna be a lot easier to change it in the future if you want to change the binding you can just go here you don't need to go into your code perfect so we want to uh, create interaction system. So how are we gonna do it? Well, the first thing we need to get our line trace So we're gonna get line trace by channel and now we need our start posi position and our end position So I'm gonna get or I can just get follow camera This is gonna be my camera and I can get world location And I can just pin it into the start but then we need a end point and how we get the end point is actually pretty simple we're just gonna get world uh, sorry not world but forward vector so we need to get the line that goes in front of the camera which is forward and we need to multiply it we can just type in multiply we multiply it uh, by a float and we can just right click here and uh, to float so this float here is gonna be our interaction link so I can either type it in here or I can just promote it to variable and call it, call it interaction length I can do whatever I like and then I can put it to be 250 here so to get the endpoint now we cannot just simply put it here we actually need to uh, add it with the world location so add can do it like that can do it like that so now we are counting that up so we are getting our follow camera world location then we are getting it world vector and just adding it i can make a drop debug type for duration just to see if it works of course and as you can see it really does but i think we are gonna need to uh, increase the interaction 500 and that's uh, gonna be better let's uh, make it a little bit more uh, and again uh, this has nothing to do uh, with our actual 
uh, system. This is just so we can like interact with it. But if you already have interaction system, you don't need to do this. So here we need to check if we are actually colliding with something. So from the return value, we can either hold B and left click, or we can just create new node branch. Uh, I will just suggest you to learn the shortcuts because it makes it easier in the uh, long run. So from the out hit, we're gonna break hit result. And here we're gonna have a hit actor. So from the hit actor, we're gonna pull the interact, sorry, from the branch, we're gonna pull the interact, and the target is gonna be hit actor. Just like that. And also we can uh, check if the hit actor does implement interface, which is BPI interact. And if that's true, this is just to make it even safer. If that's true, then we want to interact. Just like that. Perfect. So now if I create some base uh, base cube, let's say, that's BP actor, BP cube. This is just testing if, uh, to see if it works. Let's add a cube. So let's add it there. And let's say, uh, first of course we need to implement the interface that we just made, which we need to go to class settings and then BPI interact. So here, event interact, we just print string hello. Just like that. And now let's test if that works. As you can see, we are interacting with it. So it works. Perfect. Okay. So right now, uh, that works fine. And we're going to leave it as that. We can just delete the cube. So with this being done, uh, right now we have interaction system. So when we press E and we collide with something, it's going to interact. So right now, what I want to do is I want to uh, go to my third person. And you can choose where you want to store the uh, currency. But if it's a first, uh, if it's a single player game, it's not that a big problem. You can store it in the third person character. You can store it in the game instance. You can store it in the player controller. It all depends where you want it and for what do you want it. Uh, but I think there is nothing bad to store it in the character, it's just preference. Uh, of course, if you store it in the game instance, you will need uh, less loading than usual, because now when you transfer to the new level, you will need to save and then load on the new level your currency. So let's call this money. And money for me is going to be a float, because I need it. I need it to be decimal. So right now, if I go to my uh, UI system, which I don't have, that means we need to create one. So let's call this UI. Uh, I really want to create UI right now, so we can show that we have a money on our account. So let's do it like that. Uh, user interface widget blueprint, user widget, and call it VB main. And here really we are just going to get ourselves a canvas and some really simple text. We can put it wherever we want, but very important, let's just anchor it so when our window uh, size changes, uh, it doesn't uh, fly away. So let's just put something like money here. That's going to be fine. Okay, so we need a way to change this dynamically but we don't want to bind it because it's going to create so many calls for no reason at all we just want to uh, change it once we do something with the money so if we cash it in cash it out etc 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 so let's uh, go to the graph and here first we need to tick this money text as a variable and call it money text perfect so it's very good use to control the UI with your player controller. But since this project is just to showcase you around, uh, we can uh, control it from wherever we want. So I can actually make here custom event 
and call it update money and I can get my money so this is the basically the reference to the text that we just made and set text like this and for example now uh, you want to add dollar sign in front of it you will just go format text and we're gonna put a dollar so this is just a symbol and then uh, we need curly brackets for money so what curly brackets do they open the new uh, new node for us uh, but now we need a reference to our money since this is a uh, single player game and your your character is going to be loaded all the time there is nothing wrong to just cast to your third person character because you are not doing any bad casting this character is already loaded on your system so there's nothing wrong with it we are going to get player character here and this is going to be as bp third person character promoted to variable and we can call it character reference so what what does this do is give us the reference so now we can actually get the money from here so right now i'm going to get the money by getting my character reference and getting the money and that's basically the update of the money very simple right so how do we call that well i will show you everything right now so as you know we have this widget but if we go and play we cannot see this widget because we need to add it to our viewport so we can create either either, either custom event or we can create a function or we can uh, just put the code here but i think it's much more cleaner to just create new function so let's create new function let's call it a uh, custom event uh, setup main ui just like that and let's call it create widget vb main and add to viewport perfect so right now if we go here and set up main ui we call the event that we just made you will see when we go to the game we will see money and we do see money also we can change the color of this text in our widget blueprint let's say we will change it to green because i like it very much so the next thing that we need to do is once the game start we just want to update the money so we can do it uh two ways we can either update it in third person character or we can here on the event construct we can just call update money so if you press play now you'll see zero so what happened here well what happened is uh we call this once we get the main menu up so once this uh uh interface is made once we call it so once this is called we will run hold this code because construct basically means it's going to happen when it's constructed uh it's similar to the begin play so here we have all of this uh good stuff that we need and let's say our money is 100 for starter if we go and play now we will have 100 dollars so of course uh, we got our currency system working and we got our interaction system working and i'm pretty happy with the results so what do we need more uh, because we're gonna have the atm system uh, we're gonna need atm and we can set up it already now for the next episode so let's go ahead and let's create uh, let's call this uh, blueprint actor i know it's all messy but please <laughs> do it better than me so here we're gonna get uh, blueprint class actor and call it atm and you can call it bpa atm just for easier uh, understanding what is because when the project gets larger trust me it gets messy so we're just gonna design it with uh, basic shapes so something like this you can imagine how the classic atm would uh, look like um, and i'm not the best at modeling uh, let's say like this and we add more new cube let's say something like that sorry for my extra good modeling skills 
but we have to work with what we have right now. And let's uh, give it uh, some color. Basically anything. Maybe something nicer. Yeah, let's give it... Oh, no. That's not a color. Okay, solid blue. Yeah, this is fine. So this is gonna be our ATM. And we can either, either add the text uh, above it, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it like this. And let's add the collision, collision shape. So box collision will be fine. I can also put it out of the cube. It doesn't have to be with the cube. But yeah, this is fine. Let's actually put it under the cube. So now if we move cube, we move collision as well. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. So let's see how it looks in the game. As you can see, in the game is a little bit smaller, but there is no problems with that. We can just do this. And we have our ATM system. Let's, let's make it even bigger, I think. And let's press play. And it's our ATM. Uh, let's just see once we interact with it. So we need our, uh, of course, we need our interface. So into the class settings, BPI interact. And now here we just need to create the interact. So for now, just print string. Uh, you opened ATM. Let's call it like that. And now let's press play. And you open the ATM. Which is great. Okay. So basically here uh, we already have the ATM and the money. So now uh, in the next episode we need to create a UI to deposit cash. To see how much cash you have it on the ATM. And etc. etc. So I think it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.